guys. Joe DeMarco from the Crazy New York Driver Show. Today is Monday, November the 16th, 2020. Welcome to another eBay video. I did not plan on making an eBay video today, but something happened this morning that I found very distressing. I would like to convey it to you now and get your opinion on this and see if this has happened to you and if so, what you think. So I woke up this morning to exactly one sale that came through in the middle of the night. And along with that one sale was a cancellation request. Now guys, my policy is to accept 30 day returns, no questions asked on most of my items. But over the last few months, I have changed my policy with cancellations. I'm not accepting them, okay? Only in extreme situations, if a buyer bought the wrong size and he wants to buy a different size or a different color, those are legit cancellations. Or if a buyer accidentally purchased the item twice and really only wanted to buy one, that's a legit cancellation. But I am not accepting discriminatory cancellations because eBay is showing the buyer items cheaper after they make the purchase. It's going to stop and I have stopped it. So the item in question this morning was approximately $121 with shipping. Now obviously if I accept the cancellation I'm going to lose fees and of course the sale. So I decided I would not accept the cancellation. But before I did any actions, I said to myself, let me just research the buyer. I want to know who I'm dealing with and get a better idea of things. So sure enough, it was a person with zero feedback who signed up to eBay last night for the express purpose of buying my item. Then they buy it and they want to cancel it. And it's not a question of the person making a mistake and buying the wrong size because the person even entered his car information and it's the exact right vehicle for the item that he bought. So I decided, well, if eBay wants to show him things cheaper, that's fine. Hey, let them. But I'm not accepting the cancellation. So I went to the cancellation screen and I clicked on decline. I then hit submit and I get the spinning wheel and I get an error message that says we were unable to complete your request. Please go back and try again. Okay, not surprising. I go back to the original screen, hit decline, the wheel starts spinning and I get this message, success. You have successfully canceled the transaction. I what? How did I cancel it? I clicked decline. Unbelievable, but true. And it didn't even automatically relist for free. I got stung that way as well. There were two possibilities here. Possibility number one is eBay has changed policy and anytime a buyer wants to cancel, the cancel will automatically go through and we have no say in it whatsoever. It seems to me that I do remember hearing some talk about that some time ago that eBay was stating that they were thinking about doing that. So if any of you guys know anything about this, or if it's happened to you, we need to hear about it. Or possibility number two is it's yet another glitch. I don't have a firm answer either way, and I don't know. But hopefully somebody out there has heard something. So comment in the comment section. Has this happened to you? If any of you guys get a cancellation and you do decline it, please tell us if you were successful. That's very important. I thought I'd put this video out there because I do find this concerning. I know for a fact months ago I did read 
that eBay was considering automatically approving every cancellation for buyers and we would have no say in it. But my question is, if that is the case, why was I given the screen and the option to decline? I don't get it. The only thing I was successful at was blocking the bidder. He's blocked. That guy will never buy another item from me so he can cancel. And let's see, since I have a few minutes, I'll tell you another quick story. This involves returns. Do you guys ever get irate customers who claim an item is not as described when it is only because they do not know how to use the item? I've spoken about this before and it just happened to me again this morning. So let me explain this really quickly. And I have something for show and tell here. This particular hubcap is what's known as a bolt-on hubcap. It's held on to the lugs by these four plastic lug bolts. See how it goes on the back? They're threaded. See that? And they thread right to your existing wheel lugs. There are no clips on the back like older cars had where you bang the hubcap on with a mallet. So I sold one of these style hubcaps last week. Not this exact one, but one made this way. The buyer got it and starts giving me all kind of lip this morning saying that it's defective because there are no clips on the back. And I'm telling this lady, I said, it's not supposed to have clips on the back. It bolts onto your steel wheel. You have to get a lug wrench and you have to actually bolt it on. And she is giving me all kinds of lip like I'm selling defective garbage even send pictures of what I just showed you. And she's trying to tell me because it has no clips, it's defective. I said to her, please listen to me. I know what I'm talking about. I've been doing this on eBay for 21 years. I said, listen, I'm not going to argue with you. Just send the item back and I'll give you a full refund. But it has to be done through the eBay returns flow system. You cannot arbitrarily send me a contact message and say, I want a refund. And that's a problem that I'm experiencing lately. Inexperienced buyers contacting me through eBay messages and stating they want a refund without going through the returns flow. So I explained to her, you have to do it through the returns flow. Then she writes back to me and says, Please provide exact instructions and screenshots on how to return this item through eBay. Not the first time this has happened to me and probably not the last, but I honestly think that eBay should be the one providing the directions how to return something, not the seller. Have you guys encountered this lately or at all? Comments in the comments section below. So, before I could even write back to her, she contacts me again for the sixth time today with pictures. This time she takes four pictures of the back of the hub I sent her, telling me there's no clips on the back. I said, listen, please, for God's sakes, do me one favor, I said to her. Go out to your car and unbolt one of your current hubcaps and compare it to mine just to see that it's the same and you'll know I'm not lying to you. I said, but in your case, it's probably better if you just return it to me through the eBay returns flow system. So we'll see how it goes. I bet my last dollar probably that more than likely she's not going to want to take her hub off and compare it. And she's going to contact me yet again for the seventh time and want me to provide detailed instructions on how to return something through the eBay returns flow system. I've done this in the past for buyers. I've actually taken screenshots and I've showed them how to return something. I really don't mind doing that, but I do get a little bit upset when the person gets lippy and abusive like this person, claiming that I'm selling something not as described. And that's just not the case, guys. Just not the case. You want to know why it's not the case? Because I'm Crazy New York Driver and you're not. Thank you for watching this video. 
I'm going to dispense with my formalities because this is not my regular Friday night video. I don't have the Fox News couple life with me because I wasn't planning on making a video today. But here I am out here anyway. Thanks for watching. Hope you make a lot of money on eBay. I hope you make a ton. And I hope you did make a ton this week on eBay. I did well. I did very well. In fact, you know what? Well, I got you here. Let me show you a picture. Just take a second. This is the picture that I shared this morning in the eBay Facebook groups. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. It's kind of dark. Well, is it? Can you see that? All right. I had a good weekend. So, guys, thanks for watching. I'm out of here. I'll see you Friday night or possibly earlier, but I need your comments on all the topics discussed. Thank you. Peace!